Hello everybody. So if you are new to my channel, hello, I am Ryan Nicole. And if you are returning, welcome back. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, baby. Join the family. We are welcoming. All 107 of us are very welcoming. Come join the family. Make our family bigger. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it will be appreciated. We're going to appreciate you. And we're going to show you a good time. That's pretty that on that. You know what I'm saying? I'll wait. No, I'm just kidding. But today, as you can already read by the title, I will be going over my digital planner for you guys. I thought this would be good to do because, you know, in my vision board video, I talked about like being more organized and things like that. Um, I just wanted to do it in like every aspect of, you know, my life, I guess, regarding school, work, you know, YouTube and things like that. So... I decided that I would go over my digital planner with you guys so it's a digital planner but I still kind of use like bullet journal format so with that being said let's get straight into it so um the actual format that it is in I did not design this but as far as like the um different tabs and things like that that are in it um i did like kind of design that and do that to like my liking so right now we are at the front of the journal or digital planner whatever um and this is more just for aesthetics you know how you get most planners or journals in it as like oh this belongs to you know whatever this belongs to me um, the next tab is extras. Um, this is just something that the creator put in there. Kind of like an index, really. That's really all it is. Um, the next tab is this year. So, this is just like an overview of the year 2020. Just having like all of the months in there. So, you know, January to December. Um, just something to look back at. I don't necessarily look at this too much, but, you know, throughout the year or whatever, for reference. So, my next tab after that is my schedule tab. So, this might look a bit overwhelming, but, um, essentially what this is, is my schedule. Um, you know, during the week. The green rec represents like my work hours. Um, the red represents time for YouTube. The yellow represents like lecture time when I'm actually in class. And the blue or like purplish color represent my homework time studying. And then the light blue is like self care. This is kind of a rough draft, I would say. I definitely wanna, like right now it doesn't look like a lot of time but I'm probably gonna definitely have like more study hours in, study hours in. But yeah, this is just like my rough schedule. Um, I just like to have this to refer to I'm making plans or uh, you know, if my supervisor asks like, when will the next time you be in work or in the office or whatever, like it's just nice to like refer to very quickly. So that's kind of why I made this whole schedule. So, um, going to the next page this is more of like my this is just my weekly planner so essentially what I do with this is I would just write down like homework assignments or um, things that I have to do as far as like you know on a to-do list um, mainly just homeworks homework assignments things I have to do and like personal things like that maybe doctor's appointment like for example you can see um, on Saturday I have a lash appointment and then like Friday I have homework that's today I have like homework had homework assignments to do and then Monday I have like a little back to school sticker and then like my notes on the side like rework your YouTube render like that's kind of like what I would use it for obviously because it's my first day of school and it's mainly just like syllabus week and all that um I don't really have much to do 
I did spend a lot of time like reworking my journal and stuff like that because I really wanted to share with you guys just simply because I feel it kind of shows it shows consistency and it shows like self-discipline I guess not necessarily yet the self-discipline is me you know staying disciplined to like keep using it and stuff like that and staying organized but it definitely shows consistency and me trying to be more organized and things like that so yeah this is just like my weekly planner that I look at um like I said before it's just like a rough you know a overall look at my schedule during the week and then this is just like more detailed so yeah um my next tab is university and really all that is is just like a semester overlook um and I don't even have this all the way filled out just because the last two classes um, don't start until this Monday, but it just tells me, it just gives me a, just like a very brief overview of my semester. Um, that's really it. I definitely do wanna add more tabs to it, things that would be beneficial, but I just haven't really found like any printables or anything that like I felt was beneficial. So right now it's just like a semester planner, semester overview. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much cut and dry. So then my next tab is YouTube. Basically an entire like planner, uh, dedicated to all of my YouTube things. So obviously I have this, you know, picture here because again, I'm trying to manifest me, you know, gaining subscribers with YouTube and things like that. So that's why I have that there just to keep reminding myself like you know you have goals keep pushing towards them um so yeah so going into the next page this is kind of just like a table of contents it kind of tells you what all I have in here so I have a, there's a content tab a planning tab account bookkeeping and notes so as far as um, bookkeeping like obviously I don't do that because I'm not monetized so. <laughs> um, so yeah just content and really just video planning putting your goals down on paper um, just to kind of like track your progress and things like that so this is what like the video checklist looks like you know just you know a good way to like organize myself and then you go into the months so that's where you um, can pretty much like set goals for yourself plan out when you, how many videos you're gonna have for the month you know things like that and it's just a good you know another calendar something good to use um, so yeah, I kind of just started this YouTube one, so that's why it's kind of empty, but um, I'm really looking forward to it because I feel like, you know, it's just another way of me getting more serious about my craft. I hope, not hope, like eventually I will branch into the bookkeeping and all of that, you know, God willing. But right now I'm just, you know, working on content planning and staying consistent and, you know, just doing what makes me happy. So yeah, this is my, you know, little YouTube journal or whatever. Um, so going past that, now we are at my next tab. We're on my next tab, which is my savings tracker, which I haven't started filling out yet, but one of the goals I have for myself is that I wanna save $10,000 this year. And this is where I be. This is where I will be keeping track of that. I haven't necessarily done the math for it yet, but I know, like, obviously, because we're like in the second week of January, I'm gonna have to do some catching up. But it's fine, you know. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I just really want to reach this goal, though. I think that I can do it if I just am disciplined enough, you know. And I need the money. <laughs> So yeah, this is just a little savings tracker I put in here that, you know, I thought was aesthetically pleasing, things like that. So yeah, um, going on to my next tab. So 
I have a books to read tab and the reason I put that in I haven't even filled in my first one yet because I do have a book of the month for January and I'm working on my book for February we're gonna see though because February is a short month baby but in anyway I shouldn't be that way um <laughs> Yeah, so this is where I'm going to keep track of the books that I wanted to read. Because I said that I wanted to read a book a month. Because I really don't even like reading, for real. It's because when I was younger and I couldn't sleep, I used to put on a dim light. And I used to grab my Junie B. Jeans, Junie B. Jones book. And I used to read it until I fell asleep. And so I subconsciously trained myself that when I read, go to bed period so it's just like i really want that's why i don't like reading because it always makes me sleepy and stuff like that so <laughs> but i'm really trying to like break out of that habit and stuff because <sighs> they say if you don't want a black person to know something put it in a book and now you got me fucked up so i'm about to read every book there is baby and that's that on that <laughs> so yeah um so this is my books tab but i haven't filled it out yet but basically i'm like um in these books for example i guess i can give y'all a little demo of how stuff be working um i haven't really tried this so i don't really know like how i would want to do this but the book is like a purple color it's like lavender periwinkle but whatever I know how I am, so I'm definitely going to want to color it the same color as, oh, that's a good match too. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to color it the same color as the book. But yeah, I also like to do things like this just because it's like, essentially this, I be in here coloring sometimes too. And, I mean, if y'all really just want to see, like, it's really... It's not like one of them ones that you can't touch. Like, it's very responsive and stuff like that. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm over here playing around. Because this is not even how I would do it. So, let me hurry this up real quick and quit playing with y'all. times to this how I like it but yes this is where I'll be keeping track of my books um the books that I read in a year so yeah um my last tab after that is my oops I gotta turn the links back on is my habit tracker now I haven't filled this out either um but basically what a habit tracker is is you know you choose a habit that you either want to like stop or start um and you track yourself throughout each month so if you did it you know the first day of the month you color it in and if you didn't the second day you don't color it in so it just tracks your habits and how like consistent you are um one of the habits i definitely want to put in here is reading I want to make sure that I read every day, even if I do not want to. Um, and I, that's the main one I, that's been on the top of my head. I really got to think about some other ones, but I definitely want it to be reading for sure. Um, maybe drinking a gallon of water. Y'all see me struggle with that. But I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. So, yeah, this is my habit tracker. That's pretty much all of the main tabs in my journal. I mean, yeah, in my journal. Um, the tabs on the side are just like monthly overview. So there's January, February, March, it's loading, April, May, June, July, August, September, 
October, November, December. Y'all know the drill. Um, right now these aren't really filled out. Um, I would probably get stickers like I did like on my daily planner setup. I'm probably gonna put stickers in here, you know, put fill birthdays in just to make it a little more lively. But overall, um, this is my journal. Um, this is how I'm gonna be keeping up with, you know, school, work, and YouTube. Um, just and just everything, just being more organized with all of my appointments and obligations that I have in life. Just being more organized and timely and productive in how I handle everything. Um, and you know, really just trying to, um, really just trying to stay consistent with the goals that I set for myself, with my vision board and things like that. Like I really just want to stay consistent with that and really just achieve these goals and make these habits because we out here evolving 2020 and so on baby and that's that on that so with that being said i hope you all enjoyed this video um if you guys want to see anything more about my bullet journal or like how i um set it up and all that let me know in the comments um but yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video Thanks for watching. Bye.